So we just got done talking about importing a very popular document type into Excel. We were talking about importing text files and specifically a tab delimited text file into our Excel workbook. Now we're going to switch gears here a little bit and we're going to talk about another very popular source of data called Microsoft Access. So if you're a Microsoft Access database user, this one right here will become very important to you as you may want to take a specific table from the Access database and import that into Excel so that you could do your calculations or do your filtering or do your pivot tables or whatever it might be, but do it inside of Excel versus working with tools inside of Access. Now, just like the previous lecture where we talked about importing text files, this is a super simple feature. It's a simple little wizard that will allow us to hook up to that Access database, grab the specific table that we want from that database, and import it into Excel. Let's take a look. First step, I'm going to go up to my Data tab, top of the screen. This is the same place that we found from text. So underneath the Get External Data section, this time, I'm going to go From Access. So I'll grab From Access. Now i got to go locate my Access database. So I'm going to go visit my OneDrive account, I'll go into my Office Noob, I'm going to go into my videos and Microsoft Office videos and you know, I'm just locating the exercise file that I have here and this comes with this course it's called Northwind DB, it's an ACC DB database or an Access database. If you haven't downloaded this and you want to try this out, go back to lecture two of this course and grab that file, that's the way you can practice this. So I'll grab the Northwind DB file. I'm going to go ahead and open it. Now, Access, if you're unfamiliar with Access, Microsoft Access is a database tool. And inside the database, you're going to have multiple tables that contain bits and pieces of a larger picture. For example, inside of this database, if I scroll down here, I can see that I have tables like a customer's table an employees table, orders table, products table, and so on. Each of these tables kind of isolating the data from one another. Later on, you create relationships and you, you kind of join them together to be able to, to span data across. And so I can see customers and their orders in one area. And this is actually called the query. Up above, I've got a, a number of different queries that I can pull from as well that live inside of this access database. Now I'm going to grab a single table. I'll grab customers. That's it. So this is going to contain just customer information from this Access database. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Just wants to know, well, what do you want to do with it? I'm going to put it in a table. I'm going to put it in an existing worksheet inside of A1 and I'll hit OK. And I've now imported data from Microsoft Access. And there it is. This is the customer table, customer ID, company name, contact name, contact title, and so on. All the records that from that table within the Access database. Again, just like before with the text file, really simple. Data, import, whether it's from text, whether it's from a database, walks you through a simple little wizard, and you've now imported the data into Excel. And now you can do what you like. You can run filters, calculations, turn it into a pivot table, summarize the data, whatever you want to do with this data you can now work with it here inside of Excel. Try this out. Again, lecture two, download the database file from there, uh, the Northwind database file, and then jump into Excel, hop up to your data tab, import from Access, go grab a table. I grab customers here, but you got orders and employees and products and so on. Try importing it in.